Hi everybody, this is Arif. Today we will solve another uh, mechanics problem. Uh, we will find the small oscillation frequency of a system. So in our system we have an object. So this is a spring. Let's suppose this is my equilibrium point. Spring is attached to an object right at its center. This object is rolling without slipping. So this is rolling without slipping or skidding. Okay, so we would like to find uh, the small oscillation frequency of this object about this equilibrium point. And this spring has a spring constant k and this object has a moment of inertia with respect to its center of mass which is given as i naught. Okay, so I'll choose this direction to be my x direction. So at any given time t, let's assume this object is rotating like this and it's moving to the right with some velocity v. So at this instant, so we have two forces uh, acting uh, on the x-axis. So one is uh, the spring force, so it which will be pulling the object back to the equilibrium. Let's call it F sub S. It's the spring force. And there will be a friction here. Since this is a rolling motion without slipping, that friction would be static friction. So if you do not remember the rolling motion, I'll actually put some links to the videos where we discuss all the details about rolling motion. So since this is a rolling motion without slipping, I'll assume that, let's suppose there is a static friction force like that. Okay, so now I have two forces on the x direction. So I already have mg and normal force, but they cancel each other out. So I don't need to worry about the, the y motion. So nothing is moving in the y direction. Okay, let's look at the translational motion. F is pointing to the right. The static uh, friction is to the right. The spring force is to the left. So I can simply replace the spring force with kx, right? So this is minus kx. This should be equal to m d square x over dt square. So this is the translational part. Well, what happens to the rotation? So whenever we have a rolling motion, we looked at, look at the translational part and the rotation part separately. So there is only this force, f, which produces torque on this object, right? So f times r is the torque exerted by this force F, static friction. However, this, this direction is my positive direction. So this torque is actually producing a negative torque. That's why I put a minus sign here. So this should be equal to I naught times alpha, right? Since this is a motion, like rolling motion without slipping, I know that this alpha is related to this acceleration, right? So how are they related? Alpha is equal to a over r, or this is equal to 1 over r d square x over dt square. So using this, I can actually solve for f, right? So what is f? So f is equal to minus i naught over r square d square x over dt square. Okay. We solve for f. So let's put it over here then. So f is equal to minus i naught over r square d square x over dt square minus kx is equal to m d square x over dt square. So if you write d square x dt square, that's the acceleration, linear acceleration, parentheses, I'll have m plus, so I'll put this term on the other side. I'll have i naught over r square. So this should be equal to minus k times x. So starting from here, let's write it down in a different way. So d square x over dt square is simply equal to minus k. So this is minus k over m plus i naught over r square times x. 
So this is in the form of a simple harmonic oscillator equation, right? So as you may remember, for any simple harmonic oscillator, we will have the equation of motion in this form where the omega naught would be the oscillation frequency, right? So if I compare these two, for this system, I see that omega is simply equal to square root of k over m plus i naught over r square. And this is my answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.